What is up guys and welcome back to another Grotopia video. Today we're going to be prepping for Valentine's Day, which is basically just getting our gems up and I'm probably going to pay to win anyways when the time comes and just buy some gems. So basically preparation for Valentine's Day is getting a job in real life and putting the hours in. But if you're unemployed like me, we have to we have to do some workarounds and we can't just go to our mommy's wallet and take all the money out. We have to actually do some hard work. And then we can secretly take some of mommy's money too. But for right now, I'm gonna show you the other methods. But first, let's see if anything was bought from my Ven world. Uh, thank you for this, these blocks. Um, this is like useful trash, I guess. And you just, you decided to evenly distribute 200 between these four things. So um, thank you. I guess I will build something out of these mini blocks here maybe maybe in my valentine's world my dedicated valentine's world i will use these blocks so thank you to whoever dropped them because now i don't have to go into my inventory and take any blocks all right let's check my vents i don't know which ones are empty from last time all right six diamond locks oh diamond lock i don't know what was in there one world lock somebody bought my dinosaur i remember what was in there Alright, now let's make the dedicated Valentine's world. You know I have to go with Funker Valentine's, like I always do. You know, I'm gonna be a little... ...different with it. Yes. That's how I lock my worlds. Do I have any doors? Yes. We're gonna put one here, in case I... Oh my god, did I disconnect? Yelp. Good job, Grotopia. Alright, let's place this second door down. And of course, you know, I'm gonna use the blocks that were so graciously... I'm gonna pretend they were donated to me and not just handed to me like trash. And I can't pick up this dirt seed. Do I have dirt in my inventory? Yes, 14 dirt that you guys commented that you wanted in the last video. But too bad. See, this is why I need dirt to fill in gaps like that. Because I do stupid things with my world locks and I place them in weird places. But it doesn't matter because I have dirt and I can fill my gaps. Anyway, here's my here's my dedicated Valentine's world. Um, Funker Valentine's. Um, you guys don't care because these worlds have nothing of value in them until after the event and I sell the items that I got, but... Hey you! Yeah, you! Are you broke as shit? You want a free diamond lock? Do you like watching my content? Anyways... I'm doing a free diamond lock giveaway when I hit 200 subscribers! How do I get it, you ask? Oh, it is so simple, you just have to subscribe. And every video you like and comment on while subscribed will get you another entry into the giveaway. Make sure to share this video so we can get to 200 subscribers even faster so I can do more giveaways. Alright, back to the real video. Alright, let's get back on topic guys. Um, Valentine's Day. Um, you need a lot of gems. Um, 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 And a good way to get gems is by farming. And a, a, a bad way of farming is root farming. And what would you, what would you know? Look at look at look at my green title. I own a root farm. Yay! The amount of time it takes to do all this shit. Like I have to start harvesting this now, so I can. I think it takes like five days, maybe like six, depending on how long it takes for these to grow. Six days to get, and you get like a quarter million, I think, of gems, which isn't bad, but it's very time consuming, and I think normal farming is better, but. I feel like this is just a more colorful, fun way. So we're actually gonna go ahead and start doing this farm. Obviously I'm not gonna record all this cause I'm not gonna record for five days straight. So you'll probably just see me break a little and then you'll see me collecting the gems at the end. So let's get straight into it with the magic of editing. So the first thing I need to do is collect my gems from this other world I have, which is the world that used to break things. Very technical with the water. You know, very technical stuff. Make sure this is empty. Yes. So this is just making breaking everything easier for me. If times were different, I'd have a slave do all this for me. But you know, I'm a good person now, and I don't, I don't employ slaves. Uh, actually, it's not even employment if they're a slave. So 
I, I just, I'm a good person. Get on my little buggy, and we're gonna start breaking these bitches up. Alright, so now that I've collected all of them, I'll show you guys down here. Yeah, it, it's a lot of harvesting. I had my friend help. But, um, now I have to insert some gems. So yeah, now we can just place these all. And it breaks super fast. The whole setup is like a BGL. But, it's really useful if you don't want to just be placing these, like, all day. I mean, breaking them all day. Because this will fill up a world. Because I'm pretty sure I have more than 5,000. And so, yeah, it's basically five days of this. So, obviously, I'm not going to just show you guys all this raw content. I'm going to show you guys the final bit when I finally get my gems. And we'll see how much gems I have to spend for Valentine's Day. All right, see you on day five, guys. All right, guys, it has been a week. And I have some friends here, and with the power of slave labor, we are going to break all of these open so we can collect the gems. Okay, now let's employ the slave labor and start punching these open. Alright guys, so it is officially time to pick up all these gems. Look at the screen, this is a world full of fucking gems. Alright, we're at the top now. Alright, this is about to lag me, like, lag me out, just, in general. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now that we picked up all the gems, let's do some math to find out what the real profit is. So, our starting amount of gems was 223,022 gems, and our final amount is 4,919,134 gems. Obviously, we didn't just get almost 5 million gems from all of this, we have to do some math because in between this video, I bought... 5 million gems, and also did other activities in Grotopia that led me to gaining or losing gems. So before I started harvesting these gems, I had 4,676,054 gems. So if we subtract that by the final amount, then we are left with 243,080 gems. So now we have to find out how much gems we lost using the Tesseract manipulators and subtract that from this new number. To figure that out, we have to take our starting number and then add 4,920,000. Then the answer we get is 5,143,022 gems. So now we need to take my pre-collection number and subtract this from the number we just got. And we get 466,968 gems. But now once more, we have to subtract... 350,000, so we get 116,968. So lastly, we need to take the number that we got by figuring out how much gems we got when we harvested. But with that number, we now subtract the number we just got. And the final number we get is 126,112 gems. Okay, so that was a lot of math I just put out in the last two minutes. But we can see that our clean profit here is over a hundred thousand. Now, would I say it's worth it to do this for Valentine's? Um, definitely not. I'd say it's either worth it to just pay to win or to do regular farming. Obviously, a lot of factors impacted my final number. If I never used Tesseract manipulators, my number would be a lot higher, but it would have taken a lot more time. And just placing the blocks down every day took around like three hours a day. So it all depends on how much time you're willing to put into the game, but that's how all things in life work. Put the time in, get the money out. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, join the giveaway, and share the video with your friends. Comment what you liked about this video, what you want to see in some other videos, and I'll probably do it since I need ideas. Anyways guys, see you in the next video.